Alright y'all, so I had to do a mini haul from BJ's and um, let me show you what I got. So right here, I got some more Nature's Own Butter Bread. I forgot how much this was. Um, I got some potato rolls, potato hamburger buns, potato rolls, whatever you want to call them. Right there, I got a six count of blueberry muffins. And... I got a combination here of the Welch's uh, seedless grapes, the green grapes and the red grapes. Right here, this was a substitute. Um, I I think I put in my cart for the Twinkies and evidently BJ's was out of the Twinkies so they substituted um, the Swiss rolls. And that's the thing that I like um, because they gave me the option like if something was out of stock, uh, once I placed my order, it gave me options to choose you know whether to replace it with this particular item or just get a refund not to replace it at all um back here i got a uh, nine count of honey buns this is for the hubby's lunch um y'all know <laughs> basically in just about every grocery haul um i have bananas i think there was three pounds of bananas i think one pound i'm not sure um, I got the girls, their Gogers, uh, strawberry and banana, strawberry and berry. I got a thing of uh, milk. We we're all out of milk. Um, I got some onions because I forgot to get onions in my last grocery haul. I got this. This is a big bag of fries, y'all. It's like six pounds. I'm like, wow. And I thought these were cute. Hopefully, these are like cuties. They are the uh, mandarin oranges. So, yeah, this is everything that I got from BJ's. And now I'm going to show you what I got from Publix.
video. I have made it back from Publix and this is everything that I got in my haul. Um, so yeah, let me start right here. I got this Sargento cheese. I got a mild cheddar and a taco. I'll put those in the freezer to have for taco night. Those were buy one, get one free. I'm right here. Um, I got a thing of salad and this is going to be for dinner. I didn't show my grocery list or my weekly wheels for dinner because I really didn't know what I was cooking this week, y'all. I just couldn't figure it out. So, um, on yesterday, I cooked, um, was it was just some corn rice and I had a uh, frozen TV dinner, the Salisbury, so I cooked that. Today, I am going to make meatloaf with mashed potatoes and broccoli. And that leads me to these broccoli florets right here. Um, and I got two of those. I got this ragu um, spaghetti sauce uh, because on tomorrow, which will be Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm having spaghetti, um, garlic bread, and um, a salad. On Thursday, I think I'm going to make... Um, not salmon croquettes, Jack Michael croquettes, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna make on Friday and Saturday. But I also got some uh, diced tomatoes back here. I got the petite diced tomatoes, and I got this right here, which is with the basil, garlic, and oregano. They had that two for four. I'm sorry, buy one, get one free. And back here, I needed some more um, dressing. So I got the Thousand Island and I got the Light Ranch. <clears throat> they had these also, buy one, get one free. I know in the previous clip you saw me pick up the Ken's dressing, but this was a better deal. I think this was like 319 or 329 and the Ken's was like 349 Um, I got a thing of mashed potatoes, that's for dinner. And I got my grandbaby, y'all, some um food, cause he's what? seven months now and he's <laughs> started to get him on eating food so i got this banana apple and butternut squash um it's just a little pouch so hopefully he likes that um right here i got some sweet potatoes he's not really into vegetables but yeah nana is going to get him into vegetables uh right here i got the sweet corn and green beans and right here is a uh, pineapple pear and avocado so hopefully he likes it I needed to get some ground ginger and I got this ground ginger because on a previous what's for dinner, I needed some ginger, well mints, yeah, some ginger for the, um, what was it? The uh, shrimp lo mein and I didn't have any. So I got me a couple of cereals, a Frosted Flakes, a Cheerio, and I have not had Kellogg's in a while, so I got that. And y'all, let me know if y'all seen this before. I've never seen this in um, Publix. The Celestial Seasonings Cold Brew Iced Tea, where um, this is the half and half with the uh, black tea with the lemonade flavor. And you just put a tea bag, I believe, in like eight ounces of water, one or two tea bags, and let it steep. And it says to make 18 uh, glasses. And I think that's what it said in the bag. Yeah, use one to two tea bags for each eight ounces of water. So, um, I want to see how that tastes. I got some cube steaks. This was 406, and the other one was for oh, they both were 406. Okay, and this is just to go back in the freezer. I got the girls' two Lunchables, and um, I got a thing of toast cheese crackers. That's for lunches. I got the spaghetti back there. Um, I also got two things of ground beef. Well, I got this ground beef and I got this turkey. Y'all know I'm used to the Walmart brand with the little round ones, but yeah. That's going to be for the uh, meatloaf for dinner tonight. And I got a cucumber for the salad. I got this uh, little Milano. I think it's two in here and it was only a dollar because I wanted to try these. And I got some paper plates. And I think that is all, y'all. Yep. So this is everything that I received in my haul. I think, y'all, this little bit of stuff right here was $59. And I'm like, $59. Can I look at my receipt, please? And yeah, um, and I, you saw the 
um, haul that I did from BJ's, that was about 60 So altogether, this was maybe about $120 worth of food that should last us this week. Um, so yeah, I'll be back next week with my regular um, grocery haul and weekly what's for dinner. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if so, if this is the type of content you like, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and also turn on those bell notifications so you know when I upload a video. Until the next video, you all have a blessed day. Bye.